What's up, my YouTube friends, my woodworking friends today? So I'm in my new shop, just trying to organize things. And you guys that have track saws and you have these tracks, it's not so hard to store the 55 inch tracks, but when you have the 2700 millimeter tracks that are almost nine foot long, they're a pain to store. So I came across these. They're called these from FastCap. They're called track racks. You mount these anywhere. You can mount them horizontal or vertical. Okay? And you can take advantage of space that you would never store something in. Maybe I'm going to take advantage of storing my track on my eight foot door. It's going to be so simple. So this track rack system, it's like 20 bucks, 19.99, right? Comes with two track, uh, two, uh, two guide holders. These stops here, fit in little recesses on the bottom. This is if you're going to mount your tracks vertical. Okay, so the track bottom would sit against here and you can mount it vertical on your wall. Okay, so your track is vertical up and down. I don't need these because your track locks into here. Okay, because I'm going horizontal. All right. So these will fit all the tracks. I believe the only track that you will have to modify this is for the Makita track. You have to cut it down a little bit and shrink it, okay? That's the only uh, track that you're going to have to cut these, these uh, supports for because the Makita track is narrower than the Festool, the Dewalt and the Triton and I think the Grizzly all right so it comes with power heads for mounting into metal self tapping and then longer power heads for going in the studs the holes are recessed and it comes with these little caps to cover them up if you want to cover them up pretty slick system let's put it up on the wall so, I'm pretty lucky. Well, most, most garage doors already come with these holes in them, right? For, I guess, mounting these uh, rollers. I don't know what all these holes are for. Um, but they just so happen to line up perfectly with my track uh, guides. All right? Let's uh, put them up and see what that looks like. Pretty straightforward. I don't need to show you how to do that. So there's my almost nine foot track mounted on my garage door. Only thing that I didn't like about it was the middle on this big track sagged. And I didn't like that, especially when the door is up. So I just made this little block here to support the track in the middle so it didn't sag. So let's go up. And there it is up there, man. Safe and secure. Out of the way until I need it. Hope this helped you. Check them out. I think you'll like them.